This is the microchip that could one day be implanted under the skin of every single American. We have a Florida family who are really pioneers in a brave new world. They have volunteered to be the first ever to have microchip identification devices implanted into their body. After 9-11, I was really concerned um, with the security of my family. Top CFR Lieutenant Diane Sawyer for eight minutes sat there in a sickening fashion with this poor, pathetic family as they discussed how they were all taking microchips because they believed in America and wanted to stop the terrorist. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something out of a science fiction horror movie. They're taking chips because they stand with the mother government. I'm living in Nazi Germany Twilight Zone. Now politicians are announcing that they want to get chipped. Something has to change, though. They have to find a better way to identify the bad guys, or the rest of us are going to stay home and watch the world go by on television. But we need some system for permanently identifying safe people. Most of us are never going to blow anything up, and there's got to be something better than one of these photo IDs, a tattoo somewhere, maybe. The Saudis used an American device to scan the eyes of travelers. I wouldn't mind having something planted permanently in my arm that would identify me. If we don't do something, people are going to stop flying. If they stop flying, and I don't go to the Giants games, it means the bastards have won. Yeah, we're not going to let you in, buddy. We saw what you just implied. We're with Al-Qaeda if we don't take the microchip. Do you know how to keep your children safe? We'll tell you tonight. In the next year, you'll be able to use your teen's cell phone to locate them 24-7. Younger children will get a small global positioning device hidden in their wristwatch or backpack. And just around the next high-tech corner, an electronic chip like this that can be implanted under your kid's skin. Let's say children in your community start wearing wristwatches with GPS devices in them. Can't that only be a good thing for the community if it keeps children safe? <laughs> I would love that. I mean, what's a parent's fear? I think it's a parent's obligation to ensure that their children have a chance to mature, to grow, to realize their potential. And if it means it's big brother, so be it. You got to do what you got to do to keep your kids safe. Civil libertarians, eat your hearts out. Civil libertarians? Eat your hearts out. Applied digital solutions could track human beings by satellite. All right, we got the Van Dams, we got this little girl Elizabeth Smart, we got this girl in Pennsylvania, uh, we got uh, Samantha Runyon, one after, we got this other little girl, one after another, after another, after another, after another. And parents around America saying, we can't even allow our kids to play in the front yard. Is there anything, uh, technologically speaking, that they can do that could help in a situation like a kidnapping? Is there, for example, a microchip, a watch, a tracking device we can use for our kids? We are working on a product that we have called internally a PLD. PLD stands for Personal Locating Device, which is an implantable GPS for which our company owns a patent and can be implanted surgically in the clavicle area of a child or someone that you are interested in tracking. It is an imp the first implantable microchip for humans that has multiple security financial and healthcare applications. One thing I would just suggest, I'm just an outside soon-to-be investor. I love this idea, by the way, Scott. I think this is a great... Thank you, Sean. Put it in earrings. Put it in a cross. Make it smaller, maybe not implantable. And I think, let parents choose. It's not the government, I, so I like it. But we, We're currently working on those applications. Good. Do I, I hear a... music, so thank you for yeah. having me. Give me a cut, Scott. No, I'm <laughs> all, the, all the best. Thank you. Thank I you. think it's, it's going to make some money. Great product. I really do. Fort Worth Star Telegram. Fearful parents turn to privacy devices. Gets into the microchips. Uh, this report uh, comes from the Air Force website. It was also uh, on the Federation of American Scientists. They explain how they're going to get you to accept implantable microchips. It says the PR implications, how they're going to use the media to condition the public to take microchips. This was from January of 2000. Rental car companies may be tracking you via GPS. And now they've admitted that most uh, new cars have satellite tracker boxes already in them. They've started taxing people in England with the satellite tracker boxes. And I've read the federal documents where they plan to start taxing and tracking us with satellite tracking boxes in our cars here as well. And uh, in Los Angeles and north of L.A., they're going to make you carry a transponder tracker. That was in the New York Times. I mean, this is getting 
too out of control. College seeks security in thumbs. Colleges to buy and sell, to get their lunches, to get into their libraries, got a thumb scan. Again, training the generations. They're doing this with the junior high and middle school and elementary school uh, kids. They're making them thumb scan to get their lunches, training them for the cashless society. No cash allowed, getting them into the control grid. You're getting scanned. It's not just children getting brainwashed on cartoons. It's everywhere. This is the prison grid, turning the whole world into a cashless control system. I have read the federal documents, the total plan to force us into these compact cities. You absolutely must resist the thumb scans, the face scans, the retina scans, cameras that can recognize you and scan your face against a billion faces in a single second. Everything, no food, no water, no houses, no jobs, no nothing without it. They're actually announcing it. They're going to put it in place, and you are the terrorist. You've already heard them say it. Gun owners, Christians, conservatives, libertarians, liberals, anybody that doesn't go along with global New World Order tyranny will be watched, will be controlled, will be tracked. The New World Order gang has a reason they want to control you. Yeah, never made a delivery to your home before. I'm taking some personal days off, Ed. Usually I gotta track you down in some toxic vortex, a cosmic battlefield. Retinal scan, okay? Ouch! What's that for? DNA sample, new policy. A lot of evil hologramic activity going on lately. The implant microchip will store data information such as fingerprint, footprint, eye scan, DNA genotype, financial status, and personal history. No one will be able to buy or sell without it. One will identify the individual with the mark. Oh yes, the ID card will also be coded with numbers. And the number is... 600, 3 score, and 6. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six